Hey angels, what's up? It's your girl Alicia and I'm here today with another video. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome to the Angels Academy, a God-ordained safe space for men and women to heal, to be vulnerable, and to grow into the fullness of God. So please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Come over and join the tribe. Come and join our family. You guys know what we do. Greet each other down below. Welcome all of the new angels to the family. So hey angels, I'm so excited to be here with you guys today. Listen, I got a word today. I hope y'all ready. I hope y'all ready. Just comment down below and let me know if you're ready for this word today. This word is so thick, y'all. Like, I'm going to literally have to build up on this word. That's how thick this word is today, okay? Get ready. Get your Bibles. Do you guys got your Bibles? Comment down below. I got my Bible, sis. I got my Bible so you know it's real. Glory be to God. Okay, family. So before we dive into this video, let me just take a second and thank my Super Chat family. I love and appreciate you guys so much. Thank you guys for so into God's vision here on the channel. To my moderating sisters, you guys already know what we on. Anybody come crazy down below in their chat, block. Because that's just really what I'm on right now in this season. And I really don't have the spirit to unblock. Glory be to God. So y'all just pray for me. I got my hair up today, y'all. Hair in the butt well done <laughs> y'all remember that hair in the button well done okay let me focus first of all let me shout out all of my kings okay listen the kings is coming through i just wanted to give y'all a special shout out and tell y'all that i love and appreciate you guys i'm so proud of y'all like come on out shout out to all of the angels all of our family here listen i'm looking at my vision board we are on the road to 50,000 angels and i cannot do it without you guys i love you guys so much i need you guys to keep doing what it is that you're doing keep thumbsing up the videos liking commenting sharing the videos out this allows youtube to keep pushing the channel because they're already trying to like censor christian content but the devil is a liar. Our God is amazing. We serve the Alpha and the Omega. And he's going to make sure that everything prosper. Because God has been doing so many amazing things through the channel. And I'm just so proud of you guys as a whole. I just want you guys to know that. Because I feel like I told y'all yesterday in the chat. But I wanted to get a little one-on-one. -on -one. Like I'm really proud of you guys. It takes a lot to really give your life to God. It takes a lot to surrender. It takes a lot to be obedient. It takes a lot to heal. So you guys are doing a lot right now. Okay? So I just want you guys to stop for a minute and give yourself a pat on the back. Okay, you deserve that. You deserve that. Okay, so before we dive into this word today, you guys know that we got to take a second and allow the Holy Spirit in. I know he already in here. <laughs> Come on now. God is here. But we got to take a second and we got to say a prayer. You guys know what we do. So Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just want to thank you, Lord. I want to thank you for your mercy, your grace, and your protection, Lord. I want to thank you for the promises that you have on our life, Lord Jesus, that the prophecy must be fulfilled, Lord Jesus. I want to thank you for this new season, these new beginnings, Lord Jesus, leading and guiding and protecting them, Father. I ask that you assign this video to whoever needs to see this word today, Father. Have your way with this video, your will and your way. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Comment down below, amen so i know it's real glory be to god listen i'm so excited for the word child the microphone wasn't even in y'all the devil is ugly and he mad he's starting it up already and you're not gonna get the glory out this word ugly can y'all hear me hello <laughs> somebody comment down below since we hear you glory be to god i'm telling you right now the spirit is in the room. The Holy Spirit is here. I'm so excited to be here with you guys today. It is my pleasure to be your visionary leader. Listen, God is up to some new things. This word is a special word today. I need you guys to get a notepad and get a pen because you're going to want to write some of this stuff down. Because when God confirms this word for you, your mind is going to be like, Phew. so first of all, let me just build up on it. Let, let, let's go back to last night. Let me fill y'all in. Last night, okay, I don't know if you guys felt the move in the spirit. Listen, we are on a prophetic speed up timeline. Everything is being divinely guided. Last night, God was just giving me so many downloads, so many numbers, so much revelation. Okay, something broke last night in the spirit. Literally, literally, you can feel it. It felt like I was giving birth. Do you guys hear me? The pressure that was on me was so heavy. And God was sending all the signs of this word that I'm about to give you guys today. And that's why I'm so excited because I'm like, listen, God is about to do something for you. Woo! I know you guys have been waiting on this. Okay, so God told me to title this message today, family. You will be receiving double blessings. Twofold. Listen to what I'm saying to you guys today. Now get ready. I got to build this up. 
So the numbers that God gave me for this word was 222. Two, two. And y'all know I got excited because 222 two, two has literally been following me my entire journey. Since I actually gave my life to God and really started on this journey and really got obedient and really surrendered my life to him. So I'm excited to give you guys this word today because I know what God is about to do for you guys. Not to mention September 22nd, 2022. Somebody comment down below 222. Two, two, Two. That's all I need to see down below. So the first thing we're going to do is dive into the revelation on 222. So 222 signifies new beginnings, new beginnings, and that you are blessed by God. So understand that if you're watching this video today, this is your season of miracles, okay? Promises are being fulfilled right now, okay? You are in the season right now of God's divine perfect order. Listen to me. You are right in the middle of God's perfect plan right now. And see, the Holy Spirit wanted me to tell you guys today that he is a very strategic God. He is a very intentional God. And you're going to notice that in this season, your steps are being ordered. You're going to be able to see God's strategy, how he's strategically moving and placing you in positions, how he's strategically moving on your behalf, bringing the right connections to you. Glory be to God. Bringing the right confirmations to you, bringing the right messages to you. Catch this word in the spirit. So the 222 revelation that we got, first God led me over to Psalms 22, 22, and I'm going to read it to you guys. It declares David, after God saves him, would publicly praise him and declare his name to people. Listen, this is the season that you're walking into. This is that season of elevation, and I'm literally going to work through this word with you guys. And Samuel, 2 Samuel 22 he calls him rock and deliverer. It is finally revealed in Paul's writing that the name of the being whom David praised, as well as the one who led Israel out of Egypt, was none other than Jesus Christ. Somebody comment down below. He's in the room. Yep. So if you've been seeing these numbers 222, two, two, if God has been leading you to these numbers, or even if you're here right now and God led you to this video, then you want to listen to what I'm saying to you guys today. So this 222 two, two is significant for unity. This is literally God saying that he is bringing his followers together. Glory be to God for the glory of heaven. This is significant for new beginnings, new creations, new opportunities, positive change, peace, protection, Harmony, glory be to God, balance and love. God is about to do something amazing for you, through you, and to you. All these things, all these things, it's about to go down in the spirit. So God led me to Isaiah 22, 22. And it says, the Lord says, I will place on his shoulder the key to the house of David. What he opens, no one can shut. And what he shuts, no one can open. Listen, this is the season that you guys are walking into. You guys are literally about to get the keys that you've been waiting for. You're taking over new territory. God has put you in your assignment and you are about to take off. Listen to me. I feel like somebody already know this word is for them. Like if this is your word today, comment down below since this is my word today. It got to be. Listen, so the first scripture that God led me to was Isaiah 61 verse 7. And I'm going to read it to you guys. I'll put it on the screen for you guys as well. It says, for your shame, you shall have double. And for confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess the double everlasting joy shall be unto them. Glory be to God and God bless this word today. You are literally walking into a season where God is going to be rewarding you for all of the things that you've been through. Listen, all of the seeds that you have already sown, God is going to be giving you double for your trouble, double for your confusion. Glory be to God. Are you guys ready? So if this is your word today, God will give you double in the place of any trouble that you had. Listen to me. Any trouble that you have encountered, somebody comment down below, double. No matter what you have gone through in your life, God's divine favor is about to change your situation. What God is saying today is that your entire life story is about to completely change. You're about to be a whole nother person living a whole nother life. The Bible says that God will give you a new name. Some of you guys don't even understand that you're already moving in the spirit underneath your new name. You could take solace in the fact that you will overcome anything and everything that the enemy throws your way. And see what God is saying today is that your later days is going to be far more greater than the beginning. And you are walking in the season where you will experience a powerful comeback for every setback. Get excited. Get excited, family, because the best chapter of your life is being written right now. 
Get ready because you are about to experience a double breakthrough. And see, God was enlightening me on this thing. This is why God was showing me all of this last night. And the fact that something broke in the spirit, glory be to God, the Holy Spirit is saying today, double fold restoration. Somebody comment down below, double fold restoration. And then God led me over to Zechariah chapter 9, verse 12. Family, come on, we got to read this together, family. It says, return to your fortress, you prisoners of hope. Even now, I announce that I will restore twice as much to you. Listen, listen to God confirming this word today. And so if this is your word today, God is saying that I am delivering you right now in this season and I will restore everything. Somebody comment down below everything to you in double measure. And see, you will receive twice the joy, twice the peace, twice the favor, twice the revelations, twice the glory, twice the protection, twice the strength, twice the blessings, twice the miracles. Miracles. Woo, glory be to God. Everything twice. And see, this is the one twice for everything you have lost. And family, when we read the Bible, the Bible tells us God bless Job for all that he had lost, plus new blessings. Yep. And see, God sent me here to tell you guys today that this is going to be your story. Yep. Claim it down below if this is your word today. This is going to be my story. I'm going to get double for my trouble. Yup. And see, this is the season where you're going to notice that God is going to be delivering you from captivity. You're no longer going to be in the wilderness anymore. And God is going to allow you to enjoy your blessings. You're going to be able to sit back and really be happy. Be at peace. Listen, family. So God led me to her guy. I hope that's how you say it. Y'all know what it is. 219. And it reads, from this day on, I will bless you. Glory be to God. God bless this word. My alarm just went off just to confirm that. Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? The Lord just went off just to confirm that from this day on, I will bless you. And God is saying today that this day is going to be life changing for you. Moving forward, you're going to notice that you're going to be so richly blessed. I just kept hearing blessed, blessed, blessed. You're going to be so richly blessed. You're never going to go back into that old season again. And see, for a lot of you guys, that was the breakthrough in the spirit. Okay, y'all. So God led me over to Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 11. And come on, y'all. We got to read this together as a family. Some of this you got to see. Here we go, y'all. I will increase not only the people, but also your animals. O mountains of Israel, I will bring people to live on you once again. I will make you even more prosperous than you were before. Then you will know that I am the Lord. Glory be to God. And see, God is about to show you that he is the God of your life. Listen, and that all of your blessings is coming from the heavens above. Catch this message in the spirit. This is literally God confirming that he's going to be restoring everything it is that you lost. And see, this is the season that everything is ordained. You're going to notice that everything that you're walking into is divinely ordained, divinely ordained relationships, divinely ordained friendships, divinely ordained everything, okay? Circumstances, visions, prophecies, everything is going to be divinely ordained. You're going to notice in this season that your steps is being ordered. God was actually lighting that lamp before you. Glory be to God. His word is so thick, y'all. Catch this message in the spirit. The Holy Spirit is in the room and he is not playing. Pause. The Holy Spirit said, Alicia, pause. This just made me think of this. I did not tell y'all that yesterday, last night, when God was giving me all this revelation, giving me all these visions, right? He went, God gave me this word last night. The train kept coming through, y'all. But it was different. Now, mind you, I ain't here to train all day. Last night, this train was a busing. It was two in a horn. It was, dun, dun, dun. I'm like, what? God is up to something. And so if this is your word today, you are about to be showered with blessings from heaven. Listen to me. And from this day on, he will bless you and restore twice as much to you. And God is saying today that you have faced several miseries in your life. You have lost everything. In all of these situations, you remain patient. Glory be to God. And you continue to seek the face of the Lord. Therefore, the Lord of heaven will honor you. And he is sending you much more than you lost. Catch this message in the spirit. This is your season of blessings. I kept hearing the Holy Spirit say blessings on blessings on blessings. Because of your lessons on lessons on lessons. Holy Spirit said, Alicia, pause. Last night. I posted this for y'all. God gave me the word. Miracle after miracle after miracle. God is about to take you to the next level. You guys got to listen to me right now. This is your word today. God would have not put you in front of this video today if this wasn't your word today. God is saying today that all of your dreams are coming true. The Holy Spirit had me write down from rags to riches. And then God gave me the number sequence of one, two, three. Glory be to God. 
Somebody is about to take off, literally, in the spirit and in the natural. They're going to a new spiritual level as well. This is the season where you are being downloaded with new spiritual insight. God's voice will become more audible to you. You'll be able to hear him clearly. Your dreams and your visions will become more vivid. Glory be to God. Almost as if you're watching a 3D movie. God is taking you to a new level of anointing. Get ready. This blessing is your birthright. And this is what God wanted me to really stress on. This blessing is your birthright. It was yours before God put you in your mother's womb. And God sent me here to tell you guys. Glory be to God. This verse so thick. Listen. God wanted me to stress this to you. Before you was in your mother's womb. Okay. He chose you. And that's literally what I was about to say. He chose you for a time such as this. And see this blessing has been due to you since birth. And this is why the devil tried to kill you. Somebody comment down below. Satan get thee behind me. <laughs> Listen, y'all don't want me to turn up. Y'all know we ain't scared of no enemy. We ain't worried about the enemy. We fight demons over here. So hear me out. God has placed a huge calling on your life. This is your season to begin to walk into it. Stop doubting what it is that God has told you. And God is saying today that this is your word confirmation of a twofold blessing, a twofold promise that is about to manifest in your life. Know that this promise will be initiated by God and it is going to change the world forever. That's what some of you don't know. You don't even understand that you're in a season of world changers. See, God sent me here to tell you guys today that he is manifesting his plan right now. That this blessing and this change must come to pass for you. This is another thing that God has been stressing to me. New, new, new. And then last night I kept hearing the Holy Spirit saying new life, new life. Glory be to God. Some of you guys don't even dig it. You are literally at the brink of a whole new life. And see, this is all from the hand of God. God is saying today that the appointed time is right. Let me see if I can break this thing the way the Holy Spirit broke it down to me. Because y'all know God communicates to me a little bit different. But what God is saying today is that you already tried to bring these blessings into your life by your own hands, right? Glory be to God. Whether that was through prayer, whether that was through fasting, whether that was through working extra hard, overworking yourself, doing all these wild things. Glory be to God. And God is saying that, no, you don't have to do anything other than what you've already done. What you've done was enough. You guys have to understand that you reap from the seeds that you sow. These seeds have already been in the ground for years for you. And see, God is like, the time wasn't even right for the vision to manifest yet. But the appointed time is now. Somebody comment down below, the time is now. And see, if this is your word today, there is a circumstance that you just experienced that is literally going to give way to birth this promise into your life. Only you know what that was for you. I'm beside myself. Like, I'm so excited for this word. Get this word. And see, God is saying today that this is your season of the promised blessings and their fulfillment in God's perfect plan. Listen, this is all a part of the plan. You are living right now in God's perfect plan in your life. And see, you got to understand that the primary goal of God's perfect plan is to demonstrate the glory of God. And the second is to accomplish the good of those who love God. Glory be to God. That means that God is going to reward you. God is going to bless you. So God led me over to Romans 8, 28. And it says, and we know that God causes all things to work together for your good. To those who love God. Here it is. To those who are called according to his purpose. Glory be to God. You will be blessed because of your obedience. Listen to what I'm saying to you guys today. Make no mistake about it. I feel like God is saying that he's already started to bless you. Listen, so this video should get you excited because you already know that God is about to go slap crazy. I told you guys yesterday he was just cranking up. Woo! When I tell y'all the spirit is at an all time high. It's at an all-time high. If you know, then you know. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, y'all, get your vibes because we got to read something. Okay, God led me over to Deuteronomy. We're going to go over to chapter 8, verse 2. Let's go. Matter of fact, let's read it together as a family. Come on, y'all. All right, y'all. So hold on because I didn't even get there yet. The Holy Spirit opened me up right here. Now, it turns out that Deuteronomy starts at page 222. I'm weak. Do y'all see this? Listen, and this is how God moves for me. For 40 years, the Israelites had lived out the consequences of their weak faith and disobedience. But instead of hiding their past mistakes, Moses brought them out into the open. Come on out, y'all. The past holds many lessons for us. Didn't I say that y'all was going to be getting blessed for the lessons? Watch the Holy Spirit confirm his word. Listen, this is a book of new hope. It is all about making a fresh start. The Israelite failures were behind them. Opportunities for rebuilding their lives, their community, and their nations lay ahead. Glory be to God. At last, Israel stood on the threshold of the promised land. Look at this. Child, I'm about to jump out my skin, y'all. It had taken 40 years to accomplish an 11-day journey because of their willful 
disobedience and lack of faith. Moses took time to give them principles of, for rebuilding their lives in the Israelite community and their relationship with God. You have stayed at this mountain long enough. In every life, there are moments when it is essential to move on. Glory be to God. New beginnings, y'all. New beginnings. What I just tell y'all, times come when action is necessary. When we stay too long at one place, we stagnate. And rebuilding a life, we must be careful to advance according to God's schedule. Neither lagging behind nor running of head. I feel like that emoji, bruh. Okay, y'all. Uh, I'm just beside myself. Y'all be patient with me today because this is a word. Um, this is chapter eight. This this is where the Holy Spirit led me before he just blew my socks off right there. Now we are going to be at verse two. Remember how the Lord your God led you through the wilderness for these 40 years, humbling you and testing you to prove your character and to find out whether or not you will obey his commands. Yes, he humbled you by letting you go hungry and then feeding you with manna, a food previously unknown to you and your ancestors. He did it to teach you that people do not live by bread alone. Rather, we live by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. For all these 40 years, your clothes didn't wear out and your feet didn't blister or swell. Think about it. Just as parents discipline a child, the Lord your God disciplines you for your own good. So obey the commands of the Lord your God by walking in his ways and fearing in him. For the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land of flowing streams and pools of water with fountains and springs that gush out in the valleys and hills. It is a land of wheat and barley, of grapevines, fig trees and pomegranates, of olive oil and honey. It is a land where food is plentiful and nothing is lacking. It is a land where iron is at its common stone and copper is abundant in the hills. When you have eaten your fill, be sure to praise the Lord your God for the good land he has given you. First of all, I just seen something down here in the small notes that I'm about to show y'all because the Holy Spirit just led me to that just now. Right? This is a right now word, y'all. This is a rhema word. This scripture is literally God saying that you've been in the wilderness all these years and I carried you through, right? But I was testing you. I was trying to see if I could give you something. I was trying to see if I could bless you with this blessing. I was trying to see if I could trust you with new territory. I was trying to see if you was ready to go into the promised land. Listen to me. But you ain't have to worry about nothing. Glory be to God, because God was providing for you. He even gave you manna, something you never taste before. Glory be to God. You know, you know, when God started to bless you, you start to eat seafood and all that. You know what I mean? You start to eat different types of food. Listen to what I'm saying. Catch this message in the spirit. A food that wasn't even known to you and your ancestors, but I did that for you. I provided for you. Your clothes didn't wear. Your shoes didn't wear. You had everything you needed, although you was in that wilderness season, because I was testing you. Glory be to God. I was testing you for this time right now. This time, somebody comment down below, I passed the test. Glory be to God. This video is confirmation that you passed the test and that you're about to walk into new territory. That God has placed you in a region that you are about to take over. Listen, God is bringing his followers together. Oh, Holy Spirit said, pause. Wait, I got to show y'all this. Now, y'all see we right here, chapter 8. The Holy Spirit said, we should look down, baby. What are you doing? 722. That's going to be very relevant for somebody. Notice that the conquest was to take place a little at a time. God knew that throwing enemies out of the land had to be followed by immediate rebuilding. Glory be to God. That, that right there was strategy. That was God divinely guiding. Listen, confirm the word, Father. He will give his people new territory. Let's go, God. Only when they were ready to move in and take advantage of the conquest. We need to recognize that recovery is a long-term process. We should not expect immediate success. Instead, we should look for steady progress. God gives us victory as we are ready to take advantage of them and build on them. We must trust him to move us forward according to his timing. God often uses the hard times in life to teach us important lessons. Lord, confirm this word. Here we see that he had a twofold, whoa, 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 a twofold purpose in Israel's 40 years of wandering. First, the trials were brought upon Israel to teach them humility. God wanted them to learn who they really were in relationship to him. Second, the trials were given to test the Israelites so they could demonstrate what was really in their hearts. Sometimes God tests us in similar ways, pushing us to examine ourselves. We need to take advantage of the difficult times, using them as stepping stones towards recovery. This word is so thick, y'all. And see, this is the God we serve. This is how God works for me. This is how the Holy Spirit works through me. He's going to always confirm his word. 
Let's go, y'all. Let's go. God is saying today, you passed your greatest test. Listen, last night God said, miracle after miracle after miracle. Comment down below, miracle. Then God led me over to Proverbs 10, 22. It says, it is the blessing of the Lord that makes rich. And he adds no sorrow to it. Glory be to God. This message is, this is what I need you guys to understand. The blessings that you guys are walking into right now is not only the blessings in your right now moment because the appointed time is here, but you just opened up a whole new chapter of blessings that you're going to walk into. Hey, baby. Hello. How was school, my honey boo? Good. You had a good day? Yeah. The devil don't want to try to get the word. Get this word. Listen, you just literally opened up a whole new chapter, right? That you're in God's perfect plan. That the plan that he had that must be fulfilled for this earth, right? For the kingdom on earth, right? So understand that these other blessings that you're walking into is not going to be fulfilled in this life. These other blessings that you just got access to are going to be fulfilled in the next life. Catch this word in the spirit. They are not experienced in time, but eternity. Glory be to God. These are the blessings our Lord himself is bringing to pass because it's a part of the plan that he has for the new kingdom and the new earth. These are the blessings that God is bringing for the second coming, y'all. Hey, baby, you look like you had a long, exhausting day. You tired? Yeah, and I have so much freedom homework to do. Well, get it done. Amen. Listen, somebody comment down below. These are second coming blessings, okay? This is the twofold that God is telling me about, right? Not only are you going to be receiving double for your trouble, glory be to God, blessings right now in this lifetime, right now, you're in the season, the appointed time, but you also just release your blessings for the second coming. Listen, and see, God is saying that when he comes to judge the earth, glory be to God. And when God comes down here and he reigns on earth and he starts his kingdom here, you're going to have a special place in the kingdom. Listen to me, glory be to God. You are a part of God's plan that will be fulfilled on earth. This is what I'm saying to you guys today. If you are watching this video today and you are under the sound of my voice, you have a huge calling that is on your life. Somebody comment down below. This is a right now word. So God led me over to Revelations 22. We're going to be at chapter 22 and we're going to start at verse one. And we got to read this together as a family. Come on, y'all. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the old heaven and the old earth had disappeared and the sea was also going. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven like a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. I heard a loud shout from the throne saying, look, God's home is now among his people. He will live with them and they will be his people. God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes and there will be no more death or sorrow or crying or pain. All these things are going forever. And the one sitting on the throne said, look, I am making everything new. And then he said to me, write this down for what I tell you is trustworthy and true. And he also said, it is finished. Somebody comment down below. It is finished. I ain't lying. I am the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. To all who are thirsty, I will give freely from the springs of the water of life. All who are victorious will inherit all these blessings and I will be their God and they will be my children. This word is for you. Listen, I got to read this part though, because I know the devil is in the room, but cowards, unbelievers, the corrupt murderers, the immoral, those who practice witchcraft, idol worshipers and all liars. Their fate is in the fiery lake of burning sulfur. This is the second death. Glory be to God. This is God literally confirming his word that you want to have that place when he comes to reign. Glory be to God. That he said what he said and he's going to do what he's going to do. Glory be to God. Don't say nobody warns you. Don't say it. Listen, God led me over to Revelations chapter 22. I'm so, I'm so excited. This is a right now where I got chills. The Holy Spirit is in the room. I know this video is a little long winded. I told y'all we had to work through this. I would be disobedient if I didn't give y'all this word today. Revelations chapter 22 verse one. Come on family. We're going to read it together. Whoa, this word is so thick y'all. Now, first of all, first of all, Jesus is coming. Make no mistake about it. Y'all see where God got us in this chapter. 2222. Two, two, two. Listen, he is coming. This is a right now word. Nobody knows the time of day, but mark my words, he is coming. The times is showing. Glory be to God. The Bible is being fulfilled. The prophecies, everything he spoke of is happening. Holy Spirit said, Alicia, read. Listen. Then the angel showed me a river 
with the water of life, clear as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb. It flowed down the center of the main street. On each side of the river grew a tree of life, bearing 12 crops of fruit with a fresh crop each month. The leaves were used for medicine to heal the nations. No longer will they be a curse upon anything for the throne of God and the lamb will be there and his servants will worship him and they will see his face and his name will be written on their foreheads and there will be no night there. No need for lamps or sun for the Lord God will shine on them and they will reign forever and ever. Then the angel said to me, everything you have heard and seen is trustworthy and true. The Lord God who inspires his prophets has sent his angel to tell his servants what will happen soon. Get this word. Look, I am coming soon. Blessed are those who obey the words of prophecy written in this book. I don't know what it's going to take for y'all to believe. Mm, 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 mm. Listen. If this is your word today, don't be too proud to beg. Let God know, Lord, I want these blessings. Uh -huh. I'm ready for this, God. You can trust me with this blessing, God. It's going to be for your glory, God. I'm going to do the right thing with it, God. I'm going to serve, God. I'm going to do what I need to do, God. You can trust me, Father. Listen to what I'm saying to you guys today. Lord, I want to reign. I believe in you, Father. I believe the words that you said, Lord. I believe the prophet that you're assigning to me in this season. Listen, catch this message in the spirit. So God had me do some prophetic writing. This is a direct message, and I got to read it to you guys. If this is your word today, blessings are coming your way. Healing is being released, and miracles will happen, saith the Lord. Get ready to celebrate. I'm going to restore you. I'm going to give you peace. I'm going to make a way for you, saith the Lord. Get ready. Greater is coming. Somebody comment down below. Greater is coming. I am about to do a new thing, saith the Lord. New opportunities, new blessings, and new breakthroughs are coming in right now. It's time for you to smile again. I am shifting things in your favor. Closed doors will be open. New relationships will blossom. God is saying today, I am going to bless you. I am going to restore you. I am going to heal you. Listen to me. I am bringing you out of the darkest hour and I will use it to promote you, saith the Lord. If this is your word today, God had me in this thing here. Supernatural blessings and favor is my gift to you. Glory be to God and God bless this word today. Oh, Jesus, I, I got to pray. I got to pray. I just feel the Holy Spirit saying pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you, Father. I want to thank you for your word, Lord Jesus. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for your promises that they're being fulfilled right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I want to thank you, Lord Jesus, that it must come to pass. I want to thank you for the appointed time, Lord Jesus, that they are finally in the season for this thing to come to pass. It shall come to pass, saith the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for enlightening us, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the new heaven and the new earth. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for their purpose within the kingdom of God, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the huge calling that you have on their lives, Lord Jesus. I ask that you give them the strength to come out, Father God, today in the name of Jesus, that they will walk away from this video a different person, Lord, that they will never be the same again, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything it is that you're showing us, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for raising up an army of soldiers that's going to represent you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything you're doing for us, for moving and shifting things on our behalf in this season, Lord Jesus. Thank you for confirming your word, Lord Jesus, through two or three witnesses father i cancel any plans of the enemy out on this word father god in the name of jesus that no weapon formed against them shall prosper lord in the name of jesus that every tongue that rises up against them shall be proven wrong in the name of jesus glory 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 you're such a loving and trusting god you're such a loving and trusting god lord you're so faithful you're so faithful thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus we hear you father we hear you, Father. We see you, Father. We hear you. Your miracles, your signs, and your wonders, Lord Jesus. Thank you. There's no other God like you, Lord Jesus. You are the one and only true God. You are the one and only true God, so thank you. Lord, you said with two or more agree, Lord Jesus, you will do it. So thank you, Jesus, for doing it. I agree. I agree on this word for them, Father. Do it in the name of Jesus. It's already done. Somebody comment down below. It's finished. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. It's already finished. It's already finished. It's already finished, y'all. It's already finished. Receive this word. Receive this word. God is about to do it. He's about to do it. The time is now. The time is now. Don't miss this train. The blessings that's coming in is supernatural. When I told you guys that this was a supernatural September, I've never seen a move of God like this in my entire 33 years of living. 
Listen to me. I've never seen a move of God like this. Do not miss what God wants to do for you. Do not let anybody block your blessings in this season. Stay in position. I love you guys so much. God got me. The Holy Spirit got me over here crying like this is a word. This word is for somebody. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Like, comment, subscribe. I need you guys to share this video out to whoever God leads you to because this word is not for everybody. If you know it, then you know it. If you know it, then you know it. If you know it, then you know it. It's, it's no mistaking it. It's no mistaking it. You're going to know this is my word today. I love you guys. Thank you for all your love and support. You guys are the absolute best community on YouTube, period. God is doing new things, new things, everything new. Glory be to God. <laughs> I can't even believe it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I just got to thank him. Listen, this is a supernatural September, y'all. I, I cannot even express this no other way. I'm beside myself. I got to regroup. Somebody comment down below, sis, regroup. Glory be to God. I know y'all think I'm a crybaby, <laughs> but it's really the spirit. Like, that's my gift. I can really feel things in the spirit. I can feel things before they come to pass. I see things before they come to pass, and it's really a gift of mine. So, like, when the spirit get to move it, child, it get to move it. The spirit is on the move. We are on a prophetic timeline speed up things are being sped up in this season catch this word super chat family i love you guys so much thank you guys for so into god's vision here on the channel all my moderating sisters don't play with them glory be to god if you have not gotten your holy anointed oils yet the link is down below go over and get your holy oils child i gotta get off this camera because i'm gonna keep crying because the spirit is moving the spirit is so high right now and i'm just so grateful for what god is about to do for you guys I'm so grateful for what God is doing right now. Like, I'm so grateful. I just don't even know what else to say. I love you guys so much. Always remember the secrets of success. Put God first. Always be determined. Consistency is key, period.